yote mwenye Mike ana msichana hapa anajua ngoja na kuangana line ya white ama ya brown tusidanganyane hizo ngonya hizo ngoja walizunua pale 3030 tao wanataka kutupima laptop yenye ilipatikana ni laptop yenye ilikuwa inatumika na watu wa IBC all of this is stage managed whatever is true is the undying and bowed spirits of the Ken you know i have really read the kenyan history and during the the pre colonial period and even after the and even after the independence kenya had a fierce very focused and very dedicated leaders in the government these are the leaders who really championed for the betterment of this country like if we come to see like the person who died like 50 years ago Tom Boya is still re remembered like everyone even small kids know like Tom Boya like his presence is felt you understand you know do you know that the reason why America has a black president is because of Tom Boya because it's Tom Boya who came up with a scholarship uplift to uplift scholarship program that uplifted many students to America and Obama's father was one of them but now the Kenya has this the rebirth of this fierce leader president and government in general to do what it was appointed to do we did not appoint them to listen we would have selected them to be podcasters if we wanted a listening ear the president is not elected to listen to us he is elected to lead a functional government which he has proven that he is not interested in running he lost several lives i can see because i don't know if it's just activism but the time has really come for this at ababa if it gets to a point where you are supporting this government then we don't recognize you anymore country suffers a lot like you give someone who has been in the government for 30 years So what do you think that person is going to change? He has been the minister, he has been the system for 30 good years. What do you think these people are going to change? Hmm. I'm telling you, like what do you think? Like you find a minister is 80 years old. What do you think this person is going to change? Asupara para. There are some leaders that lied to these young men and ran away with their money they squandered 1.8 1.1 billion kenya shillings in the name of giving student scholarship to finland now tell me do you think these are people are really 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 normal to lead a society who is ready to listen to them and these generation are now fierce you can't lie to this generation huh? Do you know any antidepressant of your mind? Any antidepressant? The only thing I need is money. It is the money our parents paid is what we are running after. Ni pesa tu tunataka. But just come and fight me. I'm dead already. Nisha kufa ndani. Ah. It's only the face that I am. And if you come to realize that why are this generation so fierce? They're not fierce because there's something it's because the same same people have made them fierce like you can't lie to someone twice thrice and they really know you you understand because when you loot funds that are supposed to take uh, to to be to be for farmers or for the education of a child or for linda mama you are effectively ensuring that there's a child who will not make it into life there's a child who will lose to hunger there is a youth who will be lost to theft the political class needs to stop politicking and do it, and start doing representation because it does not matter you can't lie even if it's even if it's like you are a good lawyer you are you are going to defend this you can't lie to these people so we entered the era of a co-presidency and it is a co-presidency between president william ruto and the people it's no longer going to be about him up there telling us what to do we are doing this together what i came to learn and what i came to realize that they are the same same people who were made, making promises you make promise you make promise watch these videos i don't know
ulimwengu. Tumesema sasa tutaweka pesa ya serikali kupunguza gharama ya mtungi ya gas. Ile ya kilo sita mnanunua 2500 2800 tutaishukisha chini mpaka shilingi 500 ama 300. Kila nyumba, kila soko, kila shule kupiga sumu, simu hautahitaji tena bundles. Unajua watu wengi wanahangaika na bundles, juu bundles. Every 10 shillings I collect. Every 10 shillings, 7 shillings go to paying debt. I commit to provide mothers of newborn babies with diapers for their children for a minimum of three months. Then you come to them, then telling them, I want to change your life. <laughs> you know, you wanna, how do you change someone's life? In, All along, you you have been employed. You've never, you've never, you, you've never innovate, innovate anything. No innovation you've made. No any kind of innovation you have made. So if I wanna, so for me, I stand with the young people of Kenya. These people, they know what they want. Kilizaku, I'm buying the hundred percent. You will see the 2027. But come on, do you know how much you have to face? and talk to us ana kwa ana you listen to us finance bill ulicheza chini lakini hauku signed eh ulicheza chini na pia si tumecheza low Una... like one of them said that it's a mad there's a difference between a mad person and a foolish person a mad person knows what he wants and a foolish person doesn't know but they 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 take them they, they, so these leaders because they have money and they can they uh, We are your parents you have to respect your parents that's only happen in Tanzania where you have to respect the leaders president okay. i need the president and government in general to do what it was appointed to do understand so these leaders they are really vibrant fierce and uh, they really know what they want and if i tell you it's the same same people who you see even the is the same same president we have now that have really really made these people look like this i know you have watched a lot of his videos he's a kind of person who lies even in the front of the camera one thing with our parents is that they never took politics like something serious they thought at the end of the day but you are going home and it's the politics that governs everything our schools our hospitals the foreign debts teachers all these sectors of economy even industrialization if we don't have focused open minded um, members of parliament that will bring good policy so you know the problem comes if we don't have good policy makers then there's nothing will go on so I think Kenya has given birth to a new era of vibrant leaders and you can't stop this. I think this is Kenyan time. So thank you for watching this. I always love Kenya and I will still love Kenya and together we grow. So in my next video I will have a raised band with the Kenyan flag. Kenya We move together. Thank you for watching.